once you're into the raw food stuff, you can't miss Hippocrates. And uh, Brian was doing a lecture in Holland, and um, I went to see him, and I, my heart was just going like, I have to, I have to go there. And um, I didn't expect to be here this soon, like this year, because I saw him this year, and um, uh, my eczema was uh, making sure that I got this, you know, I booked this trip to go here and um, I think get a restart, get a reboot, you know, I kick in the butt to get things going because I wasn't following my heart, I wasn't doing the things I wanted to do um, and to be honest I didn't really know what my heart was saying so uh, my eczema got worse and worse from August on and I, have it, I had it on my arms and on my legs as well and my face was completely bloated uh, just a week before I came, it was completely red and um, my face was honestly the first thing to to calm down. I could just see the difference, which helped me through the first week because <laughs> the first week you, uh, you have to acclimatize to the food, to just being here, to not having sugar, to no fruit and um, uh, that that really kept me going, and um, the funny thing is, uh, I've been to therapies, and I've done IVs, and I could see the difference in my skin, and I've done exercises, and I really enjoyed them. Even if you're not, if you don't have a disease, or but just want to be more in touch with yourself, or um, to experience what. Um, uh, attention to yourself can can do for you. You you, uh, you just can't imagine how good you feel after three weeks of of just um, uh, giving yourself personal attention, um, making it all about you. Which is not it's not ego. It's just loving yourself. And if you love yourself, you can you can change the world. That's what I think. Um, I, if you feel great now, do three weeks of Hippocrates and you'll feel even greater. It's, it's, it's an amazing place, yeah.